Hey, this is Frida House, um, the Paint and Zebra face painting, also the Frida House Studios. I do a little bit of everything. Um, acrylic painting, face painting, body painting, anything I can paint basically. Um, started with trying to build a YouTube channel, video number two. Um, so I did a dragon and I figured I'll do a unicorn next. Um, I'm going to be working with, uh, this is a Maron Paradise half inch brush like that. I've loaded it with some DFX white and whatever white you're comfortable with. Um, it doesn't have to be a waxy paint. You can use it, you can use a glycerin paint too. Um, I'm not really going to do fancy line work so I'm going to block out the shape of a unicorn right here. Hopefully make it pretty. We'll see. Now, I really like the flat brushes for when I'm doing creatures. It just really makes it easier for me anyway to draw out the shape. And I'm always using this corner here as my leading edge. And basically that is what's going to be shaping everything and then the rest of the paintbrush drags behind. So I've started with a little muzzle. I'm going to go ahead and do chin, jaw. So that's my basic unicorn head. Come up here, put in an ear. Right here at the eyebrow line, I will start my neck. I'll come up. I'm going to tie those shapes in. Pull the horn right there. And then, let's see here. I have a cake here. After I have done this, if I have time, this is a quick little step you can add and while you still have white on your brush you can load up a nice color right there I'm choosing uh, a teal just because I like that as a shadow and I'm gonna go in right here on the bottom the unicorn said put in a little bit of a blue shadow right there see how nice that looks and I'll do the same thing on the back end of the neck. Just give it some dimension. Just like that. Totally can skip this step. But it's a very quick one. You just dip that paintbrush in a little bit of teal and purple, gray, pink, any color really. Um, kind of depends on what kind of unicorn you're painting. Um, next, uh, let's choose a main color. I think I'm just gonna go kind of rainbowy because sort of what all the kids want. I'm gonna keep white on my paintbrush, and this is well, I can't see the back of the sag. Lo uh, Leanne's lollipop, I believe pretty positive it's Leon's lollipop and I'm gonna pick up blue yellow and orange again with my half inch brush but I still have some white on it which will give this more of a pastel rainbow Let's see if I can get a little bit of pink on there this orange might dominate not sure we'll see so what I'm doing is just, just I got the back end of my paintbrush. I'm just picking up right there in the corner. Hopefully, I'll have a little bit of pink in there. Okay, so we're gonna start with you can see what I'm doing here. Super pretty. 
I'm going to do the same thing back here. <laughs> I haven't painted my own face in so long. It's super awkward. There we go. Nice. I also want to pick up a little bit more paint. And come back here and do a little tail swishing. I really feel like this needs that pink that I'm not quite picking up. So I'm just going to go in with a run brush and Pull in some of those pink swirlies. And because I went through the trouble of loading this paintbrush, I might as well use it in a few other places as well. Um, It's interesting, this pink, um, this is a neon pink, but it really looks orange in my monitor. Okay, um, let's see, what do I wanna do next? I'm gonna get a little bit of teal or blue, something kinda light. And right here, I just wanna put in little bit of a color right here because I decided I'm gonna make this a Pegasus um, so I'm gonna load up some white this is a number four round and let's make a little wing right there taking my time. I'm not in a rush right now. So. Lay down and lift off. Right. I'm going to go back with this paintbrush I had teal on. Not <laughs> paintbrush, sponge. And sort of fade out all that. So all I have is sort of that outer edge. That. Load up some more white. I'm gonna do another layer of petal feathers, wings. Sorry, I don't know why I can't make my words work for me. Another one. Still have some teal on here, so fade out that one. There we go. I'm a fan of getting as much work done with the same paintbrush as, po as possible so I'm gonna go in and get a few little swirlies in here and then I might as well do that on the main as well so that everything will sort of tie together. Something like that. I'm probably gonna come back to this paintbrush one more time. I 
try, try, try really hard not to have to pick up a paintbrush more than once. But I want to put in a little bit of a highlight in the eye eventually. And I kind of need to wait until the very last moment to do that. So. And this is a um, fab, what is it called? Ink blue that I'm adding just a touch of black to because I don't want it to be too blue. But if I can, I try to avoid outlining with black because I think black is such a harsh color. And this is a Let's see, Craze paintbrush. It's really nice. I like it a lot. It's a Craze number one round paintbrush. I don't want to go too heavy on outlining this thing. So. teardrops instead of doing a harsh line right there put in some teardrops instead need a nostril for sure okay I have the world's <laughs> wrinkliest forehead. See these huge divots? So I personally don't feel like forehead designs look that great on me because of that. So I'm going to be really careful when I paint. Just I think I'm going to do the underside of the wing. Um, and not everything in here, because I think that's just nice on its own. I don't want to do too much. I. And, of course, with this, I would add glitter, absolutely. Um, I think it would be really pretty to do some stars. Do I have any fun stencils available right now? I'm not sure. see the mess of my studio here in the back but that's okay I do have some stars let's put some stars in because I do think that would look nice because I have this nice little space right here that I guess it Excellent place to put down some stars. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do some right here, too. I think I want those stars. Okay. 
Oh, I almost forgot. I said I would. My paint's a little too dry. I wanted that highlight in the eye. It just always, always pulls everything together. And I usually do a big one and a little one. There you go. Sweet little unicorn face paint. Thank you.